the week. Well, that sort of thing keeps up. He might have a few more to contend with. Great mark by Madden. And maybe a 15-metre penalty coming up. Now the umpire has called play on, which Madden does do. Kick's not a bad one. Trying to find Harms or McKenzie. Holt. Holt's kick is up there towards the full forward position. McCann, McCann under plenty of trouble. There's a great mark taken there by uh, Big uh, Madden. Madden's kick is out wide. And it's the mark. Back to English. Playing on well. Runs to half forward. Looks for Madden. He's got it. And he's only about uh, 35 metres out on a slight angle. And no doubt this fellow's the best big man on the ground by a mile. So I'm a little surprised that uh, John Kennedy hasn't just said to uh, McDonald, you just go everywhere that Madden goes and try and nullify him. That's right. He's got no hope of trying to outreach him as we see the ball kicked there by Madden. Will it come around enough? It has, I think it's a goal. And that's goal number one for Madden. And Carlton go further ahead there. <laughs> Madden at the back of the pack had no trouble taking that market on Carlton's half back line. Still 18 points the difference, that's a good pass, and Reese has been a very good player. Seven points the difference in favour of North Melbourne. There's Madden coming across after that uh, heavy knock and taking a great mark in defence out there at half back. 26 minutes gone, and North Melbourne are seven points. The ball is brought back into play. Reed, Madden. Play on is the call. No, it'll go back to Matt. Short to Ashman. And the throw in to take place on the half forward line for Geelong. Six and three quarter minutes have elapsed in this third term. Madden from behind, wins it with a punch. Ashman beaten by Morgan. Williams too slow. Now that's a good tackle. And careful, Mr. Madden, or she'll lose it. Quickly on to Shane Robertson, finding Brendan Hartley go long he does deep into the square Madden has it point blank range fans trying to indicate to Madden just where to put the ball that's exactly what he does Spears the center brings up his first goal and Justin Madden won Carlton 18-15 to Geelong, 10-9-69. Knocked down to Connolly. Connolly's kick short up towards centre field. And Madden obviously is recovered. Gets up to take the mark. He's gone for a pass out towards left half forward flank. The difference. There's the kick. It's a long one. In comes Madden. He's got it. Well, he hasn't grabbed many marks today, but he made sure of that one. And he's only about uh, 10 or 15 metres out from... Four kicks and two marks to Madden. Well, he took a great one down there in the third quarter, but couldn't get a goal with it. Let's see what he can do with this one. There he comes in for his first goal. There it is on its way. And that's a goal, so scores a dead level. Far out with the wet ball. Not a bad looking kick, though. Up into the goal square. Big Madden unopposed. Too tall. No one there in position but there was no one in position to spoil him. No, Jimmy Jess was there, but he stayed down, and uh, six foot eight of Justin Madden, a good mark. And no doubt about Justin Madden, uh, Jack, he's improved his marking since coming to Carlton. He's right in front, and he slams that one through for another goal to Carlton. He had the ball, Shelton. I wouldn't have penalised uh, Palm there. Up towards, oh, he's taken another ripper mark, Justin Madden, and, oh, boy, he's playing well. Justin is... Again. Centre bounce. Big Madden got the hook down, beautifully hooked down too. He looked at Quinlan. Madden got the right-handed tap to Cork and Mills. Lovely tap again. Madden a lovely pass. Justin Madden playing well. Has marked 35 metres out from... Fitzroy 5-2. Lines it up like he would have plumb bob. Don't know whether it's going to help or not. It's on its way. It worked. Madden kicks a goal for Carlton. Carlton, six goals, four, 40 points. Fit not the longest kick in the Carlton side. That's a great mark to Madden. So it'll be a ball up about 60 metres out from the Hawthorne goal. And they're really looking good. 29 points in front. Reese Jones with a hand pass to Cork Amelis. Another one over to Glasgow out there. Back to Cork Amelis. Back towards Madden. Swabs there, couldn't hold the mark. Madden picks it up, gets a hurried kick over the half. Four line, Harms in front. Punched away again by Ayres. The ball comes back to Murphy. Murphy gives a hand pass to Corker Mealis. A left foot snap and goal. It's through for a goal. So two good goals for goal.
chance of a score as Elvin doesn't quite make the distance, but Madden takes the mark right on the goal line. And so you can say an excellent move by David Parkin to throw Madden down to full forward or forward pocket, whatever you like, and Baines into the ruck. Now, Baines has been beaten since going into the ruck, but the move has come off because... Forward pocket at the moment. Here's Beasley and Madden. Oh, Madden wins it nicely down to Curley. Start of the second quarter, knocked out back to Corker Miller's doing a great job in the centre. The ball kicked over the half forward line, making plenty of time. There it is, but oh, that might come around nicely. Might not make the day. Oh, there's the big fella, Madden. What a mark! Well, it's uh, a wonderful thing what's happened to this fellow. He's been given the number one berth as a ruckman and it's lifted his game completely. Before that, when he was just a forward pocket play, he was in a hopeless position. Well, people were used to laugh at him. But now he's become a force and kicked that goal. And that means Carlton have gone under nine goals, 256. For North Melbourne, still two goals, 46. 29 to 64, 35 points the difference. Knocked down by Madden again. He's killing them. Ashman oh, gets caught in the sandwich there. Still comes out with the ball. Hand pass comes out to Sheldon from Meldrum. Sheldon has a shot at goal. It could be another one to Carlton. Will it bounce through? I think it has. The opportunity is there for abuse. Short in towards half forward. Reynoldson again tried to strike the tackle, but he's beautifully tackled and he's pinned for holding the ball. A great tackle. He didn't just tap it wide, no. Sandy, because he had Williams waiting there. But he isn't it? Waiting there for the ball to come back into play. Grabbed by Madden again. Oh, he's killed him at the ruck. Hooks the ball back there towards half forward. Hunter getting the position. Goes the punt. Short pass. It's Clark driving the ball around towards Ross on the wing position, but there's Madden. Oh, he's got it. Just like the best player on the ground by a mile. A kick by Madden. Decides to go for the hand pass, and it's picked up by Carey. And Carey's kick is over the half forward line, but there's Madden. He's got the mark. And there's this no doubt this fella's the best player on the ground by a mile. Over it goes. <laughs> coming in to do the ruck work against Tim Barling, Madden to Reese Jones, knocks it on to Ashman, back it comes to Des Ingler, forward pocket, he's going to centre the ball, he kicks it high, Justin Madden, six foot nine of him, yes, oh boy, he's had his name written all over that, as soon as they kicked it high and I saw his big lanky arms go up, lovely mark to Justin Madden, he certainly is an improved player and has certainly has improved his overhead marking. Celery out mark on that occasion though, was no slouch in the air, Roach well, but Roach I don't think is quite fit. Well I cannot see why he's playing in the ruck, he should be down at full forward, oh, Barley must be injured to be playing at full forward, I'll Here ask again, him. what's the point of putting Roach down at full forward if they can't get the ball to him? Oh, no, Madden's geez. left foot kick going through, I reckon. Quarter on Sevens Big League from Princess Park. Hawthorne leading by 39 points after a splendid opening term in which they kicked 6-7. And Carlton get to score a goal. Burn and Madden, won by Madden, taken by Corker Mavis. Up there's a 15-metre penalty to Dean. Didn't take it. Drives the ball over the half four line. Big Madden flies. He's got the mark. He's played a great game since quarter time. Shaping up as the best player on the ground. And he's had plenty of opposition, particularly from uh, Wallace and Loveridge. Positioned himself beautifully. You wouldn't have given two bob for this bloke last year. There's the pass, and it's a the only thing I can say about that before the ball must have been touched. Madden, mark number 12. He even doesn't. And he's only about 15 metres out directly in front of goal. And as you can see now, with the breeze behind him. Here it is again. Two words describe that. Too tall. And too good, Pete. Yes certainly improved a lot hasn't he this year certainly has as you said you wouldn't have given him or given to Bob for him last year but he'll pull well on the brown though I don't think he'll win it but he'll certainly be well up there it's a goal that's Madden's first goal for Carlton Mark 
That's towards the member stand side. Big Madden, name on it again. 11 marks to Simon to Justin Madden. That would be shaving up as the recruit of the year. No doubt about that. Oh, there he is again, the star of the match. Justin Madden playing the game of his life. And Ken Hunter playing his 100th VFL game put a stop to that very smartly. Madden, mark number 14. And Justin showing a little bit of fire. A little bit of juice. Over his head, looks for Lester Smith. Ball paddled back by McKenzie. Over it goes to Madden. Picks it up. Shrugs one tackle. Gets around another. And another. Oh! Madden! Brilliant stuff.